So hey y'all and welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage. Oh, is this not just a lovely bunch of sunflowers? Ken picked these up for me. What's today? Today's Wednesday. I think you picked them up for me Monday. They're just so pretty. And the squeakings may turn in the, the vase there on the granite countertop. But I love yellow and orange together. And of course, purple always complements the two colors together. So welcome back and welcome in to another video, another day, which is actually a few several days compiled together into K&L's Wild a Kingdom. And it has just gotten even wilder with a soapy girl, Soap Suds. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What is this, three weeks now she's been with us? And can I just say, she is already a spoiled brat that um, she's already having to have some corrections in several different areas. But isn't that just normal with um, having a new puppy in the house? It, you know, it, it, to a point, to a degree, they can almost remind you of your toddlers and sometimes even your teenagers. And I've been there and done that a few times over and um, have the marks on my heart to prove it. But wouldn't have it any other way. So today's just a beautiful day here in the hills of Tennessee. Just like the last time I left off with you, we're due to get rain in today. A higher chance tomorrow, but it has already gotten hot here. I think we just bypassed spring and went directly into summer. And I mean, it's been some kind of hot here. Sticky hot already. I'm taking my rugs up. However, I've started laying towels down because they are easier just to bundle up and throw them in the wash. Wash them, dry them, and put them back down. But it is another um, sticky day out here. Not nowhere near as bad today as it has been. I mean, it was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to survive this summer kind of hot. Starting to get the patio furniture back out, but each piece I bring out, I'm washing it up. And if I can use bleach water on it, I will use bleach water on it to kill the mold off. And last year, we just put the stuff away dirty and usually we try to put it away clean so we don't have to do as of a deep clean as I'm having to do this year. And I've already drug one of the chairs over to, under the tree because that's Sophie's favorite place to be under the tree. I just made a run. And I just have to have somewhere to park my backside, my rear end, as I was gonna say, instead of on the ground. So I drug one, just the plastic chairs over there, even though we have the little bench over there. She just wants to sit right there under this first tree. And when they put the privacy fence up, they've included, um, we're, Ken's making sure the trees are gonna be inside of the privacy fence. And it's gonna go down to the side of his barn, his lean-to there. And he's wanting to change his lean-to up as well. He's wanting to lift the, uh, the ceiling on it, the rooftop, and it needs to be because he forgets every single time that he is taller than that lean-to is, and we need to get a lean-to up that is uh, taller in height than he is, so he will quit knocking the, yeah, you know what, out of his head. And seriously, he has one hard head because he can take some really hard bangs to the head. Me, one hard bang to the head, and I probably would have a, a serious, a severe concussion or either do more damage than I'm, I'm very tender-headed. And I still have this stuff to bring out. Um, I'm gonna help him get up uh, under the house. That's where the stuff is. It's pretty high here, as you can tell. So there's pretty good height under there to store stuff like the uh, lawn furniture. And I will help him get up there and he will dig it out and then I'll bring it on out through the door and that will make it easier on his back as well. And I've got to get the table out, or the two of us get the table out and then uh, the six chairs and I have to uh, get all that cleaned up and we're hoping to spray paint it but you know how that goes once you get it out and get it clean and get it set up then you say oh, I will spray paint it at the end of the year but you all know how that goes but the um, butterfly bushes down there on his um, barn shed 
I need to cut those all the way back to where you see the new growth there lower to the ground. Gotta do, gotta do, gotta do. So I just thought I'd say a welcome into uh, this uh, next few bits and pieces of our day. Hope you enjoy. So we will just roll right on in to um, our weekend and our first of the week. And I just got an Amazon delivery and let's take a look at who, let's see who's been shopping for the new fur baby. Mm -hmm. I'd already taken them out of the package and she's already taken off with this one toy. But I had taken them out of the package and realized you could share some of her new toys and her first now this would be her first Amazon haul. I don't know what it is, but this is her first Amazon haul since she's been here with us. I started getting items uh, for her before she arrived. And you can see that I like the Nyla Bone. Um, a vet a long time ago said that the Nyla, Nyla Bone are some of the best chew toys uh, that you can get. And that's what I've been going with. So I'm not sure if she would be considered a um, aggressive chewer. Um, if you all would know that answer to that question, feel free to leave what you think, your thoughts and your experience with big dogs. Uh, what a puppy or a healer, would they be considered an aggressive chewer? It sure feels like an aggressive chewer when she's trying to chew on my hands and arms that went through a round of topical chemo for many, many weeks and then healing. And yes, I'm supposed to be doing it now. And I have a follow-up tomorrow with my doctor. Oh, I hope I'm not gonna be in big trouble. I ended up not starting that second round. You know, I went through it for a longer extended period of time than just the four weeks. And um, all that new skin, that soft baby skin has come back and all it takes is just a little teeny bite from those razor sharp teeth to cut skin. And it looks like that I have been really injured because I'm on blood thinners too. Um, so that's one reason I didn't go with round two and I hope he'll understand that until that gnawing and chewing on me stops. We're really working on it though. Um, she actually gets, I get pretty firm with her in my tone of voice when she starts trying to do that real aggressive chewing. What she could do on Ken and it not even hurt him, she can't do that on me. So we're trying to nip that chewing or that nipping in the bud right now while she's a puppy. So here is four of her toys. Uh, do they have names? That one is considered a power chew, long lasting, and it's supposed to be beef flavored. And then, of course, you can see that's for a bigger dog. And I'll show you that one she took right away off onto her bed in there. Bacon flavor, peanut butter flavor. That's the one she took off with. And this one is the flavor melody and guess what i am not going to taste these to see if they are really flavored i'll let ken do that you know i'm totally just kidding and then we also picked up we used to have this years and years ago but since our smaller indoor dogs have been uh, house trained for many many years uh, we didn't see a reason to have or keep what was really old on him so we end up picking up a new one, stain and odor eliminator, and then the pet urine and stain detector kit. We wanna make sure we get all those up for any that she might have um, done without our knowing it, which she's not allowed to be on carpeted area without us with her and right on top of her. However, when she gets excited, sometimes she does a little more than trickle. So we've realized that and changed our way of greeting her. We bring her to an area that it will clean up well. However, we're gonna use this little pet urine and stain detector kit and see what spots we can find and get those cleaned up. So, um, and this is two clickers, training clickers. I should have already had those and I needed a new thing of uh, the Olay Regenerist. That stuff's not cheap, y'all. And then I'd seen these wet and wild um, brushes and I've heard good things about them and I know they're just a cheaper brush, but I wanted to try them. I've heard good things. And then this book, 
Um, not like I don't have enough books to read already. I've seen this book, um, Carrie Murphy. If you've not checked her out, hop on over to Carrie Murphy's channel. I'll link her um, channel below so you can check her out. Precious, precious young lady, young woman. I think she's about the age of my daughter. Very soft spoken, very sweet, uh, very uh, sweet mannerisms, very gentle. So if you've not checked out her channel, I would highly encourage you to check it out. But she had shared on Instagram the other day uh, what she was doing at the moment. And she was reading this book, Kind is the New Classy. So I'm looking forward to getting into that and checking that out. And I'll just move on into what came in actually yesterday from Amazon. Do you ever have that feeling that you need to do something or pick something up because you feel like I moved those bananas because I didn't know if y'all wanted to see that one very ripe banana too long in your face um, that you just feel like you need to pick up a backup on because sure enough the time that it would go out on me I would be needing to go to a special event or something and it would happen to me so something kept telling me you need to pick up a backup blow dryer like the one you use and a backup um, curling iron like the one you use so that's what i uh, picked up or ordered and it came in from amazon yesterday i'm playing with some settings on my camera I'm that the settings that i'm playing with is for the positive and not the negative you all will have to let me know and i'm sure i still have a lot more playing to do keep those packages Lisa even though she had probably rather play with these packages than the toys somebody is full of their Wheaties she's gotta go she's gotta go she's gotta go she's gotta go and she's home we're both on we're both on duty duty we're just gonna take a walk on the wild side. See what my man was able to get accomplished today. And just imagine, you're smelling fresh cut grass. That is what it smells like out here. He didn't get to get to the woods today because I asked, did you cut a path through them? He said, nope. So, maybe tomorrow afternoon and we can walk you through the woods. But Sophie girl, Soapy Suds, she stayed outside real well with me today. Ken bought a um, little spike that goes in the ground to put the cable on that uh, completely turns. <laughs> I'll show it to you someday. She was on that and she just hung out under the trees while I washed for the chairs that uh, we're wanting to paint. Um, but I went ahead and just washed them really well and put them back up on the porch. And what else did I do today? I know I did more than that. And then he turned the garden over again. And I have an appointment Monday morning uh, to have my device, it's called device check, my pacemaker check. They just do a reading on it. And we're thinking instead of going out Sunday on Mother's Day, we will just go out Monday uh, and hit tractor supply and get our plants. So I thought about us going ahead and um, putting the rows throughout so we can just drop the plants or the seed. Take a walk down to the water and see how low it is. You didn't put your boots on, did you? Not my tall boots. Do you have any more tall boot boots? Oh, because you had me cut those off for you. The woods is very grassy. He usually keeps all that mowed down. But he's still down in his back. Look at that. We know where that came from. Look, I have a stick. I have a stick. Watch me poke my eyeball out with it. Did your mama not teach you not to run with a stick? A cane pole? What is that? Water cane? Good grief. Bamboo. Bamboo. 
Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. That was on Veggie Tales, right? Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. Now look what you did. You tore it up. Yeah, it's not it. Don't let her get up under that tree stump though. Still very low. Very, very low. Oh yeah. Big school fish, they're jumping up out of the water. And the reason I won't let her up next to that, cause sure enough, that's where a copperhead would be. Hiding up under it. And she would have her first and last run in with a copperhead. Look at those fish. What are they doing? If you keep trying, they might make it break off. Her nose is dirty. Maybe a mo? She's gonna back herself off there. You have a fresh mouth. Sassy. You are so sassy. Are you sassy? We couldn't get across right now. Thanks, brat. Your feet are dirty. Hopefully it's just a mole. Yeah, there's the trail up there. Oh, you see the mole trail. She is gonna have to get her feet. Oh, look at her tongue. <laughs> She's gonna have to get her feet washed when she gets up there. Cause you ain't going in back into the house like that young lady. That would be like Patrick coming outside in his socks. And then I'd say, boy, are you outside in your socks? <laughs> She's going the wrong way though. She's going down Come instead on, of. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, little girl. Ken and I one time had the hammock down here and we were both sitting in it chillaxing and we just watched a snake just kind of come across the grass and just right up to that tree and didn't it start going up the tree? Yeah, it was in the tree hanging off the branch. Yeah, well not, that was down there. No, I mean it actually went up and got in the Oh, okay. The so it just went up to the tree, up in the tree and he said it was hanging off. She stayed outside today with me real good. She had to pee and she was telling me it's time to go in but i was able to get a lot done with her outside and then when i went in to take a shower instead of putting her in her kennel i just took her into the bathroom with me oh yeah her picker bush she attacks it i think because it stuck her once and since i cut it today she don't she's not as quite as aggressive toward it but when she's in the shower i took her kong in there and i Ooh, thank you girl Nasty, that went in my mouth. Um, so I went into the bathroom and I took her Kong filled up and put a sheet down in the floor for her to cuddle up on and just occupy herself with her Kong and she kept trying to get in the shower with me and I kept telling her no, no. Ooh, what's that smell? What is that smell? Mm. Need to bring the broom down here or the blower and blow the uh, bridge off. I need to bring the pressure washer. Yes, gotta get the pressure washer down here and get a board put back down. Will you watch her? Yeah. Not let her up here. Because we got a board missing. She's angry because she can't come up here. I get that replaced. And he usually keeps all this weed eated out for me. Um, Cause I ain't walking through it. He keeps that weeded, weed eated out so I can get up there to that road. 
But I have to, I'll have to figure out how to insert pictures to show you all this bridge when he first built it. And how nice it looked just, what, two years ago? Is this bridge about two years old now? And we first bought this house, this tree was dead, so we had that one cut down. That one, it was huge. Three years. And it is some kind of sticky out here already. It's clear, but there's not a lot of it in there. He was just talking about putting, replacing the siding that the flood took off, or the tree when it hit the tree, got hung up in the trees over there. And we're gonna have to take it up a couple more blocks, two, three, I don't remember. And I'm talking about now just turn it into my tool shed, but it would be one fancy dance uh, chicken coop. <laughs> oh, and I washed the little bench over there. And I did fertilize in here today. And I've got to trim this up. So I got all this fertilized today. Yeah, I did yesterday. That was a dead worm. Yeah, I would gag on it too if I ate it. <laughs> what does she not love? So I uh, used bleach water on these. And then I fertilized in here. And then I've got to cut these back. This is a hydrangea bush. I've got to cut those stems back. And we push mowed over here. So he push mowed up in here today because I heard him. These are the four chairs that I got washed today that we're hoping to get spray painted. But now that they've been washed and put back up here, you know how that goes. Probably won't get ar around to it. And I know they make these and I can replace them. But the best time to buy lawn furniture is always at the end of the year. You will pay full price if you go buying pieces. Um, late spring, late spring, early summer, you will pay full price and you'll pay about half the price or sometimes maybe even a little less if it's somewhere that's looking to make room for other um, items they're bringing out. They will discount this stuff really low. But we're thinking Lowe's now has um, started putting their stuff back up, you know, in the back there and they bring it back out the next season. That's what we were told about the Christmas anyway that they don't discount it as big as they used to. Um, but I was able to buy some things after Christmas. So I've gotten these four chairs washed and then brought back up here. And we have these two uh, boards cut the round. He cut those many years ago. All I have to do is buy the foam, get the outdoor uh, vinyl, use a staple gun, put it on and bam just like that is back together that's my mom's table and I still can see her sitting at it to this day she was a smoker and um, she was taking care of my aunt my aunt had emphysema which my aunt was a smoker too that's why she had emphysema but I quit smoking after she was diagnosed with emphysema praise the Lord and um, so there was no smoking in the house Mom would have to go outside there either on my aunt and uncle's back deck or the front porch in the rocking chairs and um, this was on the back deck and they had an umbrella back there so she'd go out and sit and smoke her cigarette and I can still see her sitting there and if I was pulling up in my car to come visit and she's on the front porch I can still see that one finger at a time wave and she'd just go one finger starting with her pointer and go down one at a time waving so I feel good about what we were able to get done today and having Sophie and working outside with her outside with us. I feel pretty darn tootin' good about it. Now I'm gonna get back inside and chill out for a while. Now we'll just go ahead and roll the day and date over, which will be Sunday the 13th 
of May and that is a Mother's Day. So I will just go ahead and say happy belated Mother's Day. I hope you all had a lovely Mother's Day. All you mamas and grandmas and um, I hope you had an awesome Mother's Day and an awesome Mother's Day weekend and you were able to do all the things that you enjoy and hopefully you were pampered and spoiled. <laughs>